having high blood pressure and high cholesterol um, and being pushed uh, by doctors to take this pill and that pill for the rest of my life um, and, and then going plant-based and losing 25-30 uh, kilograms um, and, uh, and, and changing my life to the better. It really opened my eyes to see that this is really the future of how I want to live my life. You know, the evidence is clear. Uh, the, the future is definitely plant-based. You have about a 90 to 96 percent um, uh, decrease in water consumption. You, ha you eliminate completely the need to buy medicine and, um, and antibiotics, uh, of which, by the way, 80 percent of antibiotics are used just, to, just for farm animals. It's ridiculous. Uh, I've got more clarity. Um, honestly, for me, I invest with a purpose. And I do think it has to do with my lifestyle and uh, your vibe attracts your tribe. So I was very lucky to grow up uh, with a father like mine, um, uh, very affluent, um, uh, and obviously a philanthropist and uh, clearly um, blessed with being one of the most successful businessmen in the world. Uh, so that really helped shape who I am in terms of working and, uh, and striving to be the best uh, at my at my passion and my field and um, and uh, thankfully my passion and my field is not in finance or in or in investment banking but it's in making the world better. In August 2017, uh, I gave my dad uh, how not to die. Thank you, Dr. Greger. Um, and um, after highlighting it and after reading it and reading it again and again and again uh, in December or January, actually February. Uh, he asked uh, that Dr. Gregor would uh, come over to Saudi and meet my dad and have and have a one-on-one, -on -one so he can ask questions and all that stuff. Um, that happened, and I'm, I'm I'm so proud and so happy to say that he he's he's on a plant-based diet, and that changed his life. Alhamdulillah. Um, uh, my mom, thankfully, she, uh, she didn't need much convincing. Uh, she just saw the ch the difference in my life, the energy that I have, the uh, the. Um, as cliche as it sounds, the sparkle in my eye uh, when it comes to investing in these companies and, and, and meeting people like Ethan Brown, meeting people like Dr. Uma, meeting people um, like um, uh, Milo Ronco, um, it really showed, shows in my spirit how, how much effect these guys had in my life. Being exposed to these amazing opportunities when it comes to companies like Jeltor, Memphis Meats, Beyond Me, Just, I get the opportunity to speak to my dad and, and explain to him what these companies do and why people like Bill Gates and Sir Richard Branson and, and other affluent um, uh, um, uh, investors uh, have invested in. So it really helps, helps me have a platform and have a reason to speak to my dad about uh, investments. Uh, I'm not really interested in banking. I'm not really interested in in um, in uh, in investing in these types of, um, of of opportunities, I'm invest. I'm I'm really interested in things that will make an impact. My hope is that I can shift people's greed um, and um, and have them be greedy on in in different ways, and that's the reality of it. I do not believe that people are inherently greedy. I don't believe they're inherently bad. But I do believe that the way people are growing up and the way kids are growing up and the way um, uh, mothers, fathers and generations um, of people um, and how they're growing up, they're affecting people's decisions on what is right and what is wrong. Um, and I do not believe that animal suffering is part of that agenda. So I would like to shift people's greed from looking at animals as a uh, cashier uh, for them or a commodity to them, uh, and, and, and shifting that to science and saying you can, your greed, you can remain with your greediness. You can be as greedy as you, as you bloody want. You don't have to be the biggest um, factory farming um, company in the world to be rich. You can do that with other alternatives. Clean meat, licensing that technology. Hopefully, companies like Memphis and Just and other companies license this technology to these companies so that they continue to provide people meat um, and, um, and, uh, um, and continue to provide people what they want uh, without involving animal, su animal suffering or out involving our harm with harming the environment and harming other species and whatnot. When you have companies like Pinnacle, when you have companies like Tyson investing in companies like Memphis Meats and, um, and Beyond Meat, when you have people like um, um, 
Bill Gates or Richard Branson, Sir, Sir Richard Branson um, uh, investing in these companies, there's a clear future there. And the, and the future isn't simply because it's good for the environment. The, the future is it's good for people's health. It's better for people's health. Um, and it's 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 a hundred times better for for animals uh, animals welfare because what we're doing is unspeakable it's despicable and it's ignorant and it's arrogant um, and I see a clear change a change is going to happen very soon I, I can see it um, again you don't have to be a visionary you don't have to see the future the pretentiousy you don't have to have a crystal ball uh, to to um, uh, to see this, it's it's uh, it's a clear trend that's happening now, um, and I'm telling you, in the next, let's say, five to seven years, the impact on the meat industry is going to be strong.